Good morning, friends. So today for our activity, we're going to talk about the largest planet in our solar system. It's enormous. It's so big that all the other planets combined couldn't even make up for this. It's, it's huge. So what we'll do today is talk about this big, big planet, and we're going to make it for our activity. This large planet is... J, J, what letter is this? Good, J, uh, uh, or U, U, P, 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 E, E, I, T, 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 E, 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 R, R, R. Jupiter and Jupiter kind of actually what's kind of fun is if you ever look at Jupiter it almost looks like there are large horizontal remember horizontal lines across it but there's something special on Jupiter you'll notice there's a big red oval which is also known as the great red spot and this great red spot this is how big Jupiter is the great red spot can fit three of Earth's our Earth that we live on three Earths fit in that thing pretty crazy huh but Jupiter is incredibly large and it's a gas planet so it's um, surprisingly as large as this it's pretty light all right so let's make our Jupiter today what you'll need I've got my glue of course I've got my scissors remember safety first be safe with your scissors those are adult scissors so think about what scissors you're using because you probably don't need that size I have a construction piece of paper that I drew, I traced a really large circle on. I actually used a large paper plate to trace my circle. So you can do that at home too. Or if, even if you want to use your large paper circle, that's, I mean, excuse me, paper plate, that's fine too. Construction paper, rectangle at the bottom where I'm going to write Jupiter, just like we did together. And then inside my envelope, I actually have, I didn't want to lose all my pieces. I try to keep them all together. So I'm going to open it up. Now, I made long lines that I used a ruler to stencil. And let me show you the colors I chose. I chose colors that you might see when you look at a picture of Jupiter. It looks like uh, it has these colors. What color is this? Good, red. How about this one? Awesome, orange, yellow. And last but not least, a little bit of brown. Good. So we're gonna use these. And you can make those at home too. And then, of course, my stars. And then I traced out an oval for the big, great red spot um, that we just spoke about on Jupiter. So let's begin. First things first, write that name on the back, as always. I have the date too, because I just like to keep track of it for memory's sake. Go ahead and write your name. Perfect. Now, let's flip it, and we're gonna write Jupiter at the bottom. Now, what's the first letter in Jupiter? Good. J. I'm going to use my brown marker. Ooh, ooh, uh, you. P, p, p. P. E, e, e. I. T, t, t. T. E, e, e. E. And last but not least. R, Jupiter. That's a long one too, just like we when we spoke about Mercury. Mercury. Let's see how many syllables are in Jupiter. Jupiter. How many claps was that? Jupiter. Nice, three syllables. All right. Now let's get to it. First things first. Let's cut out this large planet. Remember, safely hold your scissors. Thumb in the small hole, fingers in the large, wrist to the sky, and we're gonna follow the line. Up and down, open, shut, open, shut. And if you at all need to pause to take the time to do this, go for it. Feel free to pause the video because sometimes we just need a little extra time and that's okay too. All right, all right, all right. And then, sweet, I cut out my Jupiter. I'm gonna keep this down, don't wanna lose it. Safely put my scissors down. Keep those scraps, recycle them, right? Let's take care of our earth, sweet. 
Now, what I'm actually gonna do before I even glue on my Jupiter, because I'm gonna cut these stripes out and they're gonna be longer than the circle itself. So I'll show you how to take care of that in a moment. Let's cut out our stripes and our oval. So I'm gonna take my time, see how I grab my scissors safely? Fingers ready. Now we're gonna open and shut the whole paper. Now I have two stripes. Keep those, we don't wanna lose them. I put them to the side. Actually, I'll put them right here so you can see. I'm putting a little pile right there. Now I'm gonna cut out some more. Now, we don't know how many we're gonna need exactly, but we just wanna make sure we have enough to fill up our whole circle for Jupiter. So if you need to cut out a little extra just to be safe, it's not a bad idea because we'd rather have too many than too little. Next up, I'm using the color. Good, red just like a great red spot. And I'm cutting lines that I had drawn and stenciled from before. So they kind of look like this. And then I'm following the lines to cut it out, All right? Open, shut. Because I wanna make sure I have enough for later. And if you need more time, by all means. I've been cutting for, cutting paper since I was in preschool. So it might be a little quicker but I got experience, so, you know, if you need the extra time, by all means, there is no shame in that. I also have a dark brown paper I wanted to use too. And I'm gonna be safe, open, shut, open, shut. Sweet, cool. Now, those are all together. I'm going to, maybe I'll cut out a few more just to be safe, right? Never have too little, I mean too many. And then if you have extra stripes, you can always just save them for another craft, right? Maybe you can turn them into some spider legs or something because they're pretty fun. Okay, sweet. Now, I'll do two more just to be safe. Okay, roll my sleeves. I don't wanna get glue on them. Um, I'm gonna put my red oval right next to me because let's glue this first and then we'll add that next. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and I'm gonna, oh, Bear with me, it might get a little windy. I'm gonna take my Jupiter and I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna put a stripe, a strip of glue. It's kind of tricky to see, but I just put it along the top here. So I'm gonna take one of my first stripes and I'm gonna line it up so we can't see our Jupiter. This is the back, see? I covered it. Now, I'm gonna keep adding horizontal lines all the way down. So start at the top to bottom. So now I'm gonna add a strip of glue uh, right underneath that yellow one that I just put. Now you don't have to put yellow, you can put whatever color you made. I'm gonna do, let's do red next. So I'm gonna take my red stripe and I'm gonna put it right underneath my yellow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't wanna lose all my Jupiter slate pieces. Put those right here. Good news is it's not as windy as it has been the last few days, so that's nice. Now I put it like so. See how it's directly underneath? And this is the back, so you can see. So next I'm gonna use, maybe I'll use, I'll use brown. I'm using my light brown. And I'm gonna put it right underneath and press. Maybe I'll scoot it over a little more too, so that way it covers the whole paper. Ta-da! And then here's the back. And then after brown, and you're just gonna do this the whole time. Now, remember, like I said, if you need more time, it's all good. Feel free to pause the video. That way you have a little extra time. Oops. Take your time. Next up is orange. I'm gonna put it across. I actually think this will fit the whole paper. Perfect. Look at that. I might not even have to cut the back of that one, huh? So now we've got orange. Let's see what goes next. Let's do, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I guess red it is, because it just came to my, <laughs> it fell on my lap. All right. Ta-da. See how they're all right underneath each other? I didn't want to leave a ton of space, so I don't want to see too much white lines, right? So there's my next line. And you can use liquid glue for this too, but if you use liquid glue, I wouldn't use as much, um, of the like I am for like the uh, with the glue stick. Now let's use. You can even make a pattern if you want to. Like maybe you want to do red, orange, yellow, a red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, or maybe you want to do 
brown, orange, red, brown, orange, red, right? Cover the whole thing. You can make a pattern. It doesn't look like I'm making a pattern. I'm kind of just kind of going with the flow and putting whatever color uh, I am, I'm enjoying. But if you want to make a pattern, go for it. All right, there's orange, almost done. So it's kind of looking like this so far. And then if you flip it, this is the back. Next up, a little more glue. Hmm. Ooh, we haven't done dark brown yet. Let's do dark brown. Perfect. And then, next up. I will put my yellow. Sweet. Now, we're almost ready. Almost done. Like I said, sometimes it's not the super quickest but craft, but sometimes we... Sometimes it takes a minute to do some things, and that's okay, too. Right? Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, last step. Use a little bit more of my glue and put one last yellow. Oh, perfect. That fits. Awesome. So now, look at this. You can't even tell that it was a circle before, huh? But if you flip it over, you'll see the circle right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut around the circle so I get rid of all of these scraps so it'll make this side look like a circle again. So I'm going to follow along. I'm going to show you how I cut right around the circle. I'm going to follow the circle I already cut. And then pieces are going to fly. Just make sure you hold on to them. That way you don't have too much of a mess to clean up, right? So keep cutting around the circle. And watch your fingers. See? How I'm cutting around the circle. Now it's starting to look like a circle here. So I'm gonna cut around. And I like to add ribbon too sometimes for different texture. If you have a, a ribbon you wanna cut to add to the, as a stripe, do that. It's really fun. Or maybe like some sandpaper or something. Ta da! And now that's the back, this is the front. And then remember, hold on to all your scraps. We don't wanna lose them. Perfect. Circle. That's a too small. Check them. Sweet. Now we've got our Jupiter. And it looks like we're ready to add it to our paper. So I'm going to go ahead and glue. Glue, glue, glue. Looks like I might have to get a new glue soon. Sweet. Remember, if you're using liquid glue, just a few drops. Nothing too wild, but I used my glue stick, so I put it like that. And I'm gonna put my Jupiter on my paper like so. And then let's spell Jupiter while we write, while we hold it down. And remember, you can look right on the bottom. J U P I T E R. Sweet, we're almost done. Now all we need is our great red spot. Remember, because the great red spot is um, an important, it's like a large tornado on Jupiter that we don't wanna lose or forget about in our activity. So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm gonna use my scissors, cut out this oval. Up and down. See that catch? Oh. And here we go. Oval is done. Gonna keep that and I'm gonna glue it onto my Jupiter. All right. Ooh. Sorry about that. I accidentally dropped it. That was silly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys where to put your your um, your great red spot. Now, you can put it, it's towards the bottom of Jupiter, all right? And now, depending on where you're looking at Jupiter from, it kind of can be on either. But I'm going to put it right here to show you. Ta-da! There's our Jupiter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some stars because it's it's a nice little scenery, right? A little background. So let's add some stars. All you need is a little drop, right? One, two, 
three. I'm only going to do three today. Because remember, Jupiter is pretty large, so it does kind of take up a good amount of space. But that's okay. I still want to add some fun to it. All right. And here we have it. Our Jupiter. I can't wait to see yours. I hope the wind's picking up. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And don't forget, just try your best, but also have fun. All right. I'll see you next time.